Hi everyone, Steph Machado here with a quick update on the financial situation in Providence. Uh, the Alorza administration in its latest attempt to avoid layoffs during the pandemic has extended and expanded the city's furlough program. We first told you about this in June. It's called WorkShare. The city um, applied directly with the Department of Labor and Training so that the city pays their employees for part of the week and then they are furloughed for one or two days a week depending on their job and are paid through unemployment directly through the state. This uh, started in June. It wasn't the worst deal at the time because the federal government was offering an extra $600 payment to all anyone on unemployment. Um, even if it was just one day a week furloughed, you would still get an extra $600 for that week. But that money expired and the furloughs uh, expired in September, but the city has renegotiated them with the local 1033 union to continue until mid-January. They also expanded the program to include more non-union employees such as management. So they are now um, getting furloughed for part of their work week through the work share program. The city is also offering a new retirement incentive to certain employees uh, who are over 65 or have uh, worked for the city for more than 28 years. They can get a cash payment some additional health benefits in order to uh, retire by the end of the year. Again, this is an effort to just shrink the size of the payroll without actually having to lay anyone off as the city's finances are not in great shape. You know, revenues are down because of the pandemic. Um, they also don't know how much state aid they're going to receive because there's not a state budget yet for the fiscal year that we are now in. So I have more details on what's going on with the budget and what those retirement incentives are right now on WPRI.com.